Hey, Wildcats, welcome back to another Cat Chat. Brad Welburn here. Um, I know it's been a couple weeks since we last talked to Coach about uh, women's basketball and all that sort of stuff, tournament and, and uh, recruiting stuff and all that sort of thing. So, But we're back. It's still March. The tournament hasn't even started yet, so we're still in the thick of basketball, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, Coach Sabato coming back to the desk one more time this year as we uh, kind of wrap up women's basketball season 2018-19. Uh, uh, Coach, thanks for coming in. Uh, real quick, I want to talk a little bit about the tournament. Um, against Mary Harden Baylor, host, nationally ranked, uh, knew it was going to be a tough game, and uh, really played very, I thought, very well through the first, uh, really the first half. It was really good, close kind of game, and right. I think that their depth maybe took took uh, took uh, took the game into their hand in the second half and that sort of stuff. But uh, talk about that game just real quick from what you remember of it. Right. Um, well, we, I think we we had a a reasonable game plan against you know nationally ranked team. Uh, we had the cards stacked against us a little bit, but uh, we went in there uh, confident within you know in that. So when we were going up against the zone. I knew we had. Uh, you know, ways to defeat it, and we were hitting some shots and getting good yeah. looks. And then when um, you know, second half came and their their uh, their death came into the play, and then um, they went man to man. We struggled a little bit against their man, and they started getting easy points uh, inside to their big girl right. um, on a little run. But uh, yeah, it, it was it was a good game. The girls fought hard, um, but yeah, when they went man, we struggled a little bit, uh, and that kind of changed the tide of the game. Right. Um, well, talk about uh, maybe real quick. Just talk about uh, this this season as a whole. Your first uh, as head coach, um, uh, maybe the transition of what you uh, coming in, what you were expecting, and what you thought was going to happen, and then maybe. And I know we've talked a couple times. Things didn't really go that initial way, and things never really do, <laughs> do they? But um, and, and how you, those adjustments you had to make, and, and just learning uh, the league and all that sort of stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, it, the the league itself was um, a lot better than I thought. Mm. Um, I, I've never been a part of anything uh, Division Three. It's the only level I've never been a part of. Uh, so when I came in here, um, I thought maybe uh, we we matched up a little bit better against some of the teams, but we had we had a very very good conference. Mm. Um, at one point, we had four getting top twenty five yeah. votes. Yeah. Um, so uh, the conference was very very good. Um, a lot of these teams could have competed in um, the Southland uh, Conference that I was a part of last year. So, the, I mean, they're very good teams. Uh, the travel, the travel is another big thing. Um, you know, we covered a lot of miles. Yeah. Not only on our schedule, um, we didn't play any home games the first half of the year, yeah. um, but also recruiting-wise. Um, you know, we, I covered, me and Coach Jazz covered uh, far and wide, mm -hmm. trying to find recruits. Um, we traveled over 5,000 miles this year to. Yeah. Uh, to recruit and all that, so that was a little uh, a new thing to me, also. Um, but uh, as far as um, you know, the quality of people I've met this year, um, not only on campus but throughout the league, uh, uh, very very nice coaches. Yeah. Um, a couple of them have uh, you know shared with me how they how they did when they were younger, mm -hmm. and um, so I was, I was I enjoyed it all year long uh, to be able to compete against those guys and girls and. Um, you know, it was it was fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, there's a, there's definitely a good crop of coaches in this league that sure. have been around and know a lot, and uh, I think are really good. Maybe can be really good mentors for a lot of people. For sure. Um, well, talk. You mentioned recruiting, mm -hmm. and uh, we were both down the road for the whole week. Uh, I guess it was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, I've kind of blocked that out about <laughs> now right, yeah. uh, at the uh, Repeats Coliseum for the uh, for the girls uh, state tournament, um, and I know for sure because we talked about it kind of there. We have at least four state championships coming yes. uh, next year. Already, already, already committed. All that sort of stuff. So that's pretty, pretty neat. Um, did Did you see anybody else maybe uh, that week that said, "Oh, okay, all right, hold up, now"? Yeah, Definitely. So, yeah. yeah. There, there was some. There's, um, I mean, you can you can just think of off the top of my head. That there's a couple unsigned seniors that are still out there that are really good um, that can impact a program immediately. Yeah. Um, the junior class is, is pretty good. They got some bigs in there um, that can really move. And the sophomore class in the state is absolutely loaded, absolutely mm, yeah, loaded. Yeah. I mean, they have some players in the sophomore class. Um, so it's, it's exciting times for Louisiana girls basketball uh, coming forward. But, uh, 
Yeah, it, it was it was a pretty good week. Um, yeah, you your job was a little different than mine. <laughs> yeah. um, I got to I got to hang out just a little bit. Right. Um, but yeah, yours was a little bit more intense. But uh, you know, it was fun. I enjoyed being around all those people. So uh, speaking of, um, obviously we're we're gonna lose three big parts of of the team. I, th I think they all played pretty much every game most of the minutes uh the three seniors janae courtney and uh radasia mm -hmm. so i feel like that's gonna be that's got to be your focus is trying to find uh some guards that can that can fill those spots i know that we got a few coming already right yes um yeah we, we got to fill the guard spot um and i guess that's the beauty of uh of losing three unbelievable people um is they you know they played a heavy a lot of minutes and um uh, the freshman will have an opportunity to come in and play immediately. So mm -hmm. that's one of our uh, selling points. Um, but, you know, we got we to gotta get better in all spots. Mm -hmm. um, I, if you go back to later episodes where we talked about things where I wanted to play fast and, and, and put a lot of pressure defensively, we weren't able to do as, as well as I wanted to this year. So I'm trying to f find people that's going to fit that personality mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, fit those roles. Uh, so we're, we're recruiting all over the place. And, um, you know, we're bringing we're gonna bring in um, probably around twelve to fifteen new bodies, and um, that's from the JUCO ranks all the way down to uh, high school seniors, right. and it's gonna be freshmen. So, um, I'm excited. I uh, can't wait. Uh, we're doing a really good job right now, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight all the way till uh, July. Right. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Uh, women's basketball uh, wrapped up uh, for this year. Uh, Coach Sabato. Uh, fun uh, covering covering you guys, watching appreciate the team it. go and do and, and, and do all the things. So I uh, appreciate you. Appreciate you coming in uh, every week. Yes, and uh, thank you for watching as well. Catch up, Brad Wilburn. We'll see you next time.